Hi, welcome to James Miller Lifeology, where you'll learn to simplify and transform your life. My name is James Miller. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a composer. In this episode, I wanted to speak with you about mediocrity. When something is mediocre, it simply means not very good or average. So of course, we are not mediocre, but often we will live a life that, has, that is full of mediocrity. Have you ever asked yourself, there's got to be something more than this? Or you're out with your friends and you don't feel fulfilled, you're kind of bored, and it feels like you do the same thing over and over again, maybe every weekend. Or you're at your job and your job just isn't fulfilling you anymore. Or you can even be in a relationship and the, the rules and the rituals of the relationships just are not fulfilling you anymore. And that is a concept of what mediocrity is. And so the way to really test if you are living a life of mediocrity is a review how you've lived maybe three years ago and see if it's roughly the same now. And of course, there are some things that need to be static or need to be the same thing throughout our life. But if you're not having this sense of fulfillment in your life, well, then it's probably something that needs to be developed. So think about a baby. So when a baby's born, they have a bottle. So that's how they eat. That's how they get their nourishment. And then when it's time for them, when they get a little older, then the mother may give them um, some of the pureed food. And so they may eat it and they may grimace and they may cough and it's uncomfortable and they don't like it, but they continue to do it. And then that's what they need to get their nourishment. And then after it's time for the pureed food to be done, they move on to solids. You know, once again, it may be uncomfortable. They not, may not like it, but that is a version of development. And so it's the same type of thing for us. When we learn something or when we, something happens in our life and we experience it, it's good for a season. We've talked about seasons before. And so now what we need to do is make sure that if we're not getting that sense of fulfillment, it means that it's time to develop something more beyond that. So by no means am I saying break up a relationship or to quit your job or to not have your friends. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just simply saying how do you develop from what you were to who you're going to become? And so it's really important for you to ask yourself, am I living a life of mediocrity? Am I living a life that is not fulfilled? Am I living a life that is, is causing me to, to just not be able to reach my full potential? It's a question that we often have to ask all the time. And as we can have this continual barometer of this sense of contentment and fulfillment, as we personally develop, that is when we're going to reach our highest potential. But if we're in a situation that continually allows us to live a life of mediocrity, then that's as far as we're going to go. And so it's up to you to determine how far you want to live your life. How far do you want to take your life? And that is by continually reviewing the people with whom you associate, reviewing the hobbies and activities that you do, and also having the, the snapshot of where you were three years ago and see where you are now. And another thing you could do with that is then take three years in the future. If you find that you're still going to be doing the same thing, well, that's not personal development. That's being stuck like that baby in maybe the earlier stages of the of the, using the bottle, and that doesn't fulfill you for a long period of time. So thank you so much for watching James Miller Lifeology. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.